Okay, today I'm gonna try to do a hot and fast cook. So what I have in here, you can see there's about 50 B&B &B briquettes in here. And I have it leaning against this uh, vortex. I'm gonna pull that out when I dump the uh, lit charcoal in. I have the applewood in there, you can see. And I have about uh, 40 B&B briquettes in this uh, Weber chimney here. So again, I have about 50 or so approximately, maybe 52 briquettes in there. And I have 40 in the chimney. And we're gonna see if that's gonna be um, sufficient and whether I uh, can duplicate again, do this same process again and again where I wanna be able to cook uh, country ribs or something like that at 400 plus. And let's see if I can do that. Now, this is only gonna be a vast cook, maybe an hour, hour and a half at the most. This is a experiment here. Here are the country ribs I uh, spoke about earlier. There were seven country ribs in the package and I trimmed them a little bit, some of the fat, and I cut them in half. They're not as uh, big as they normally are, but I just cut them in half. And notice also, I'm gonna be hanging this on the Versa Hunsinger rack here. I think this is the second time I'm using this and I'm thinking I'm gonna like this very, very much so. Let's see what this is like here. Oh boy, that's hot, that's hot. All the fat will drip onto the coal, and the flavor from the fat will bounce back. I have, uh, notice I have these racks here, they can go like that, see that, how nice that is? I think this may become one of my favorite Hunsinger rock that I have. It's a wonderful piece of machinery here. Oh boy, that is hot, yeah. hot, 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 hot. So, I'm doing a practice cook here trying to nail down the process to get consistent, uh, consistent. Look how nice this is. I have one, two, three, four, five right here. Is it? Yeah. And these are cutting how nice that is. And uh, if you come take a look at the fire here, you'll see what it looks like. Yeah, it's soft. Is that beautiful? Oh my goodness, yeah. Again, this is just briquette this time. The last time I made cha siu, I used a lump, I think. Uh, I have to look at the video, that's why I do these videos, so I'll remember what I think I did. It's uh, hard for me to remember. Okay. All right, so, I have 14 country ribs hanging here. Again, I cut them in half, there were seven, but you can see how much room you have. And uh, here's a piece of fat here. I'm just going to throw it down here. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to cover it. And we're going to let this cook. You see the fire? You should... Yeah, I saw the fire. It's very nice, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. It's amazing. I didn't want to roast the there camera. Goes. Okay. This is a hot and fast cook. Maybe hour, hour, 15 minutes. We'll see. Okay, it's been uh, about a half an hour now, and I'm gonna open it up and see what she looks like. Oh my goodness, that looks good. Mmm. Looks good, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that coal is hot. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, it's good in a half an hour and we'll see what she looks like in another uh, maybe 20 minutes or so. Alright, I took the uh, country ribs off the, uh, out of the uh, Weber Smoky Mountain about 45 minutes at the 45 minute mark. 
I'm just um, uh, putting on some sauce here right now and then I'm gonna put it back on uh, the reason why I removed them all before I uh, brush on the sauce because if I leave the dome open for too long the thing just really flares up okay it gets really hot when I open this here I'm gonna show you take a look at the uh, how much charcoal we have Again, we started off with about uh, 50 in the uh, lower, in the lower, uh, whatever you call it, the uh, charcoal area, and then I dumped in about 40 briquettes, hot burning B and B briquettes. This is looking really wonderful here, as you can see, and uh, I'm just using up some uh, Cosmo uh, peach habanero here. Just finishing this bottle up here and uh, clean up our refrigerator. I'm sure you guys know all about that kind of stuff. Well, I'm gonna put it back on. I'm gonna show you how you put it on a few of these and then, and then we'll just uh, cut it off and, and uh, get back. Okay. Some of this looks pretty good here. See that there? Mm, yeah. yeah. Pretty. Oh yeah. Pretty. Look at the charcoal here inside. Be careful. Mm, well, that's a hot fire. Yeah. Hot fire. All right. I just want to break down that collagen, that fat here, and uh, I'm hoping again. Uh, these are country ribs. And again, to repeat myself, I uh, cut these in half. There were seven when I started with, and uh, I just broke it into, cut it in half, so there's 14 little pieces here. And it's so helpful they have these extra hooks. Uh, for you men, your wife may complain about that, but, uh, but for those uh, of us men, we know better, right? And, uh, any case, it's awesome to have these extra hooks. I, uh, these hooks, most of these are from Hunsaker here. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it on here for another 15 minutes, and then we're gonna call it done. It's uh, it's looking very good, isn't it? Oh yeah, beautiful. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, and uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. All right, we'll get back with you guys, maybe, and maybe not. But this is a test cook, and probably I'm just gonna call it quits right now because we know this is gonna be good. God bless America, God save the Republic. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Hour and 15 minutes here. I didn't think I was gonna come back, but so I'm pretty darn sure this is uh <laughs> this is done here. This looks very good. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. Oh yeah. Let's see how tender this is. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, very tender. Very tender. Whew. Gotta take the hooks off. Ah. Open here. All right. It looks really good here. Can you get to see this, honey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this little guy. Yeah. I tell you, these hooks are hot. That one's mine. What now? That one's mine. That one's yours. Well, I'm gonna slice these up. That's okay. But you can have it though. This is a interesting test cook here. So the next time I make this, ah, I have a kind of an idea. From the time I started the charcoal until now, it's been two hours. And this has been on for an hour and 15 minutes here. And look at her, look at her. And for you guys who are worried about temperature here, right now, that's uh, 208. Ooh. 208, okay? 208, it's hot, okay? This is pork, you know, pork can be, but it's 208. That's what that piece registered. 
so we know this is going to be really good let's see just verify this one here oh yeah 200 you see this thing is hot very tender shoot whoa ah ah Ooh. Ooh. okay and uh any case so country ribs cooked under hot and fast hour and 15 minutes this is a little morsel so here look at that look at that boy i bet you had a dog you had a little baby boy he would like that okay i think camera girl would like that right mm-hmm okay let's look okay well i think this is all she wrote again god bless america god save the republic Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Woo, baby. Woo, baby. She's pretty. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye, camera girl. Thank you. Bye. All right. I know I uh, say goodbye earlier, but listen, I want to just show you how much coal is left. That's about 90, uh, 90 pieces of B&B briquette that's left after an hour and, uh, let's say, 20 minutes of cooking here right now. All right. That's all I want to show. Signing out. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, thank you, honey.